What's going on, y'all? What's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Live with Brian. On today is Tuesday. On Tuesday, Tuesday only at the Cajun Dome. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Today's Tuesday. But how y'all doing? How y'all doing? As y'all can see, I'm kind of messing with some lights and stuff, and yeah, all of this stuff going on. I no have no idea what I'm doing with the lights. There's <laughs> more YouTube videos. I have to go figure out. But welcome, y'all. Welcome back to another episode. It's so good to have y'all back. Um, yesterday's turnout was dope. The day before that was dope. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I don't. And excuse that. We have our little nephew here today, so you might hear a little something, something. My y'all, let me know if it's a little too loud. I'll turn the mic down and let me know if y'all can't hear me in general. Uh, yesterday was the first day I actually got like my sound system and stuff back to where it needed to be. But other than that, yeah. A few house rules before we get everything going, like we normally do. First and foremost, don't come up in here with the BS. Just be up in here. We talk. You know, we vibe. We do our thing. We have conversations. If you want to go live with me, uh. I don't know if I can this time because I had a thing set up. We're going to make it. Well, whatever. But like how we normally do it, just like just be vibing with us, y'all. Like that's all we do. We come on here. We talk. We don't have to talk about holistic things in general. But, you know, we come up in here. We talk. We have a good time. And that's what we do. We ask questions. We have dialogue, all that type of stuff. Just don't come up in here acting stupid at the end of the day because like we don't need all that bigotry and racism and stuff like that i've done it before i do it again i just block people on the spot you're not even gonna get warned you know but if you but we can discuss we can discuss discuss and have conversations but there's ways that you go about doing that but other than that what's going on y'all hope y'all having a great tuesday i keep thinking today's wednesday for whatever reason but um hope y'all having a great tuesday um and we're gonna start off with today let's see um i finally got some okra my mama cooked some okra what that was sunday sunday yeah it was sunday and she just so happened my mom my parents moved my parents moved not too too far away but they moved away from where i currently live at and um so whenever she cook okra i gotta drive to go get it but her job is like if 10 miles from my house so whenever she said i'm bringing it to my job you come to the office and come get you a plate i was not about to turn that down i don't know if y'all know what okra is or like if y'all grew up where i grew up or if y'all eat it where where y'all from or whatever but you don't pass up on a plate of okra you you really don't that's that's something you really don't pass up on because it tastes good it tastes good and what and it tastes good but our main topic today, even though we did talk, did we talk about it yesterday? We did talk about it today, so it's not the main topic, but I just want to talk about it again. Y'all, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Return to people. But, um, are you from the South? Yeah, we made you ask that. But, um, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the topic, just to continue the topic we talked about yesterday, y'all working is ghetto. Like, I, I, I feel like this is going to be in my spirit up until I get back. Cause oh yeah, for all the new people that's that's up in here that don't know, I'm going to see Kendrick Lamar this Friday. So y'all can't tell me nothing. I'm I'm going cut up. I'm going to act a plum fool out there. The okra, lol. I'm from Alabama. Oh well, then you already know then. Y'all and y'all let me know if I'm too loud or too low because I'm trying something new with my uh my vocal settings or whatever. But let me know if I'm too loud or too low. But other than that. Oh, I'm going to see Kendrick. I'm going to see Kendrick this Friday. So y'all don't don't. I'm gonna try to make as much content as I as I can to where I can just have them things on autopilot and it just going or whatever. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna be out of town. Look, <laughs> I'm not gonna be back in my right mind till Monday. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna say that. But before we get things really kicked off and started for real for real, um, for all y'all that's new, my name is Coach Brian. I see a lot of new faces. Uh, my name is Coach Brian. I'm from Southern Louisiana. I'm a holistic coach. I'm a holistic trainer. So we typically come on the podcast and we talked about it. We talk about everything, but um, most mostly we just really like having discussions. Whatever questions y'all have, y'all ask them. Boom, we in, we interact like that. But before we get things started, there should be a meter right here, so you can click anywhere on the screen. And the only thing I ask of y'all this entire podcast episode is just to get that meter from here and fill it up. And whenever you're done, boom, you know it's the confetti, the boom, boom, all that type of stuff. But um, other than that, yeah, bro. Like oh shout out to I'm talking I'm talking about immediate love thank y'all thank y'all the all the likes coming in she said love when you go live well, I appreciate you I love when I go live because I actually get to talk to people other than just being doing my little posts and then people come. speaking of because I'm all over the place speaking of y'all remember that macaroon video I did in like February I want to say I don't know why well I do know why because TikTok's pushing al algorithm is changing it's pulling more of the old videos and pushing them forward. Like I went back because I was getting a lot of likes on them. I was like, is this video about to go viral again? And then I go look at it and people going crazy over it because, you know, it's like the I, I wish I had it saved so I could have show y'all. It's uh, it's not so I can just grab it and play it for y'all real quick. But um, 
some dude was like, man, you about to have people out here going and get macaroon or whatever. And uh, just to say it's not going to work. And he pulled a doggone powder can of macaroon from the side. Yeah, man. Got us out here just wasting money. Because, like, the whole thing about macaroon, for all the people that don't know. You know, we should talk about sexual performance and health today. That's what we're going to talk about. Um, but the, the the whole thing about macaroon is, like, it helps for, it's not the cure-all for impotence and, like, dysfunction. But it does help. It helps with blood flow. It does help with um getting your, your reproductive organs back together and balancing out hormones and things of that nature and a lot of people like to say oh it makes you gain weight and blah 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 no it makes your hormones function so it makes your digestive system actually work and absorb nutrients properly and you're probably not tracking your food or doing what you have to do so when you start taking it you puff up because you're already eating like garbage the same people that say that well not i'm not even, I'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna be mean because i don't want to be an a-ho but like typically the people that complain about that and i ask them what their diet is when they come to me for consultations and stuff like that they're still eating popeyes they're still eating fried food like crazy so it's like yeah your body is going to retain that even more because your hormones are on 10 so i mean what you expect to happen but it's a great libido booster for both men and women it really helps with fertility as well what i should say infertility if you have a problems conceiving it aids in that and uh dude is just funny y'all can go check out uh i don't know how you even i, well, I yeah i repost i did repost him today so i, I believe he's on like the repost feed on y'all love thing. if not i'll post him on my storyline but um other than that that's gonna be our topic on today we're gonna talk about uh impotence on both sides so oh, i just I might be, i'm just seeing your question holistic okay how do i add fiber to my diet without taking pills and powders um, I'll say this, you can get it in your foods. So like, and of course, like, oh, you get in your foods, get me out. So what I like to tell people is find fruits and vegetables, preferably fruits and vegetables that are high in fiber and start your day off with at least 32 to 64 ounces of uh, fruit juice, uh, water or, um, or tea, and then go in and eat all of those types of food because, Essentially, what's going to happen is whenever you, you're somebody that's low in fiber, right? Either you're going to, uh, it's a perception three. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you the question. My bad. I, I saw my question, so my, my brain automatically went to that. Um, so whenever you're going to do that process, like I was just telling y'all, essentially, you're going to activate the digestive system. You're going to activate the, all the elements that require you to pretty much get, um, uh, to get those nutrients going within your stomach, right? So after that happens, and then you roll up with like fruits and vegetables, preferably fruits in the morning, that has a lot that yield a lot of fiber and things of that nature. Then all of a sudden, your body's like, "Oh, I can actually process stool now. I can actually digest." So for me, I start my morning off with like two, well, a bowl, but like two. Um, I think it's like a cup. I don't really measure it out anymore. I just kind of pour it in there. I eyeball it because I have this one. Um, this one bowl that I eat it from. And I'm going to get, I see y'all doing questions. I'm going to get to y'all questions. Just let me wrap this up real quick. But um, I do like gluten free uh, oatmeal, or you can find spelt, or you can find kamut, or you can find, um, I forgot what the other one is. Or you can, no, not that. That's, that's disgusting. But you can do that. And then I, I eat that. I have like a half a banana in there. I chop it up. Or I do blueberries. I chop, I, not chop them up. I spread them around in there. I put like a little bit of agave nectar because I like it sweet. That's just a southern thing. I like things sweet. So, um, you know, I do all of that. And then I eat it like that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, my, my, it helps me because if y'all don't know my story, if y'all, if y'all just here for the first time, I, y'all know my big thing is stomach alleviation. Because when I first started my holistic journey and education process back in 2013, like I had like IBS, like a mug, I was constipated like a mug, but my diet I often tell people like you're, you can always trace back these problems to what you're eating or what you were eating on a, in a repetitious manner. But that's one way to get fiber in your system. So let me get to the uh, other question. Uh, does any brand of macaroon work or what's best? So not to plug myself or anything, but this is how just, just in case you're new and you don't know how it works, but no, I'm gonna plug myself. I work hard and I, and I'm, I, I educate people. I pl I'm plugging myself. So on my Amazon storefront, if you go to the link in my bio, I have, if you go to like the powder tincture section, once you go to my, it's going to say Amazon favorites, or Amazon favorites are Amazon storefront. Once you click the link in my bio. And you'll see it. I have like all the herbs that I recommend that I outsource myself and I went and look at myself and stuff like that are things that I actually personally use. So I would say that. But if you if you identify as a woman, I would say uh, find red macaroon if it's not on there. If you a uh, guy, excuse me, if you identify as a guy, get the uh, the yellow. Oh, thank you for the flowers, my love. Thank you. Um, get the the regular yellowish brownish type of macaroon, or you can get the black. It it really is it, it have you whatever route you want to go. But I'm just gonna warn you, you're gonna be humping holes through concrete. Like you're gonna put a hole in the concrete. It, it's gonna your libido is gonna spike. So make sure you comp you got something to compensate for that. <laughs> 
but uh somebody said what type of mic is that this is a perception uh akg 120 so i this is old like my actual um my good good mic that i actually record with is this my nti my road uh and it's the a series and this uh, bro i'm talking about really 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 good for harmonies really really good for oh yeah for y'all that, that don't know outside of holistic studies and stuff like that i'm a musician so like i tour i play i record i do all that type of stuff so yeah boom boom um do you recommend lymphatic cleanse of some kind for eczema in a child six years old definitely even from a baby like what what people don't understand I talk, and we talked about this yesterday on the podcast if you if y'all missed any of my episodes i want to see what we about go to youtube and type in coach brian or coach brian get you fine nobody says or spell their name like i do on social media or you click the link in my bio and go straight there but um we talked about this the other day but i always often tell people that you talk about lymphatic cleanse. now granted it tastes bad it tastes bad i can't stand celery juice and y'all might be somebody that loves it they say oh it's a taste that you're gonna grow to love and the more acid you pull out your body the better it's gonna taste i don't believe that because i've been taking this for a while i've been eating good for a while i'm very balanced in my in my nutrition and it tastes like hot garbage i don't like it but it yields so much detoxification of the liver the kidneys the gallbladder the pancreas and the uh, adrenal glands to where it can definitely help with like eczema and things of that nature because eczema is just another form of constipation even though people don't want to believe that like our third kidney and our third dispersing our our detoxificating gland and outside, outside of our outside of our bodies is our skin you know but i said this yesterday like we're poor we're very poor as creatures just because you can't look at your arm and see the every pore that you have trust me we like they call them sweat glands and all type of stuff it's just another form of a pore and essentially what that child needs to do especially if they're six a lot of berries especially if they're a boy a lot of berries that's going to help them with their endocrine system and their digestive system uh increase their fiber make sure they're moving around make sure they're hydrated pull all the sugars especially the breads and the sweets and the candies and stuff like that that's what's causing those things because anytime you have eczema that's your body saying your body's basically taking a poop on itself and it's like i can't get these things out of my stomach i can't get these things out of the colon you have a, your intestines that go into your ascending transverse transverse descending colon and then uh, your sphincter when you use the bathroom you know so it's like it's getting piled up. We can't do what we have to do. It's got to come out some kind of way. So it alleviates itself through the skin. That's what black heads are. That's what white heads are. Even though, you know, they're not going to tell you that. But it's like if you do the math and you really look at the anatomy like we talked about yesterday, you know, like the people that are extremely constipated have like, or like prime example, like I said before, and I'm going to get on to the next topic, like people that eat a bunch of food and only have one bar moving a day if that and then when they do it's like little pebbles they don't they're not really getting anything out well baby you're not really processing your food properly it's not really coming out how you think it's coming out or how it should come out you know so if you want to attack eczema you attack the stomach and the liver so if they can get them on a mild dose of milk thistle dandelion root um a lot of berries like i said before um ooh, two inches of uh aloe vera gel too raw like from the stalk cut it and get it out let them eat that or if they don't if if you feel like they're not going to want to eat that or you can't get them to eat it blend it in like some distilled water and like give it to them like a shot or something like that every single day it's going to flush them out and then watch the skin get better and also topical properties um body butter shea butter you know stuff like that make sure that you're actually hydrating the skin you want to moisturize it then seal it with oil don't just have an ashy child or somebody cause i had to learn this the hard way I start. I was ashy, you know. I was ashy. <laughs> I was just all cracked up, and I just put coconut all on my skin, and it's like that's not how that works because you're just sealing in ash. You're just sealing in the crud. So like, put a little, a little cream or something like that, some little, some body butter, all that. Then follow back up with the oil so you can seal in the moisture. Make sure they're hydrated. Make sure they're eating a high volume of fruits. Make sure they're moving. They're sweating because that's going to help alleviate all of those things. But once again, like I said before, even though it's horrible, celery juice. And like it yields a lot of benefits. I'm advocating for it and I hate it, but I'm advocating for it because it has that many beneficial uh, nutrients to it and properties and stuff like that. Boy, you played and finished. Don't know what you're talking about. Um, Thank you for God. Dog it. If y'all see me do this, it's because the little lights and stuff and how the captions are. I can't see the like it's just the captions are weird. Thank you for your time. Water, fruit and oatmeal, yogurt, the stomach is the basis of everything definitely so now i i personally don't really rock with yogurt like that so if you want to and if it works for you go for it but me personally i don't mm -mm, mm -mm, i don't i don't rock with yogurt because and look it could it could work they got the biotics and stuff in there that people that they put in there and blah 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 me personally just not a fan i feel like there's pure ways you can get pure ways you can get that 
uh, but that's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. But more power to you if it worked. Um, but you're right about the stomach, though. What about a good detox that won't have you on the toilet all day? Um, so let me start by saying this before I even even mention my processes and my products. I'll say this. A lot of people will put these detox teas and stuff out like that. And, and that's one thing I really I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing I really hate because it's like it gives people like us a bad rep or it gives or not even like us. It gives the word detox a bad rep because a lot of people don't really understand how this stuff works and it, they don't understand what it actually means or what it's doing and these people I'll, I'll go look at a bunch of them like i'll go look at the detox teas and products and blah 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 and see like well what's making these people do this and the third and they're just putting laxative herbs in there they may not they may not tell you up front like oh it's natural and blah 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 you see a lot of cascara sagrada you see a lot of uh pura pura you see like just just herbs in general that's gonna make you go like stay on the toilet and of course you'll drop a whole bunch of weight but if you're not hungry and you're just pooing all day now, granted, the benefits and here's how it works on the business side, like it's beneficial because the average person is walking around with 10 to 20 pounds of excess waste within their stomach. So, of course, it's going to work. You know what I'm saying? But like, are you really detoxifying yourself? The reasons why I made my seven and ten is why I plug myself. <laughs> the reason why I even made my seven and ten day detox to begin with, because I mean, it's because it's a process and it's a protocol. Right. So you you. You go to the shop. Say, let's say you go to my shop. You go to coachbrian.com or you hit the link in my bio. So you go purchase the seven or the 10 day detox, right? So it's, it's going to be a PDF protocol showing you how to properly, because like I want it to be reused. It's not, it shouldn't be something you have to buy time and time and time and time and time again. I like to educate people. So you go get it and it's going to tell you, it's going to walk you literally week by week, day by day. Well, in, you know, seven, 10 days, I'm saying week by week, but you can reuse it. And it's going to show you how to eat properly or what foods to combine, what herbs to have on that to essential. And it's going to explain to you, like, I took my time really writing down, like, what the lymphatic system is, what this system is, how this works, how this blah, 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 blah. So you're not just getting something that's like, hey, do this. I like I don't I don't personally just do things just because people say to do it. It's like, no, I'm a researcher. For all y'all that know me, I brag about my books all the time and how, and my studying and blah, 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 blah. Like, I will read a book. I will figure it out before I just do it. You know, so make sure that you're reading through it and then you flush out like that because the reason why these detoxes that they have keep people on the toilet all day is because they just they just pumping y'all up with stuff to make y'all poo. But with my particular detox, it's going to wake up the lymphatic system. It's going to wake up the neurological and cardiovascular system. It's going to dump everything into the gut. Yeah, you're going to have an excessive bowel movement or two, but a detox is a detox. A lymphatic flush is a, lymph a lymphatic flush. It dumps into the stomach regardless. You know, you should be like if you're somebody that's regular like me or people that's close to this level, you should be having a bowel movement per meal or at least once or twice a day or at least one bowel movement that's equivalent to what you ate in that day. Like it should it should literally bother y'all or make y'all really second guess how y'all eating and how y'all bowel movements compared to the two whenever you can sit down and let's be real let's just say we're not eating the best right we woke up this morning we went and get some mcdonald's on a lunch break we went and get us a little lunch plate for dinner we came back we had some spaghetti or we went and get some chick-fil-a or something like that and in between that we snacking on little debbies and honey buns and this that and the third okay cool it ain't the healthiest but you didn't eat that much food throughout the day and you mean to tell me when you sit your behind down on that toilet and you go to have a movement, you got pebbles this big coming out. If that you having a little like like your poo sticking to the bottom of the doggone bowl when your flush is smearing. It. Like, come on, man. Like that's like y'all got to Y'all got to really think about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the reason why I made my detox the way it is, is because I like I want to educate for one. And then when you actually get to the protocol section of everything, it's going to show you all how to do this. At least one. I tell people at least once a month. Or every other month if you don't feel like doing it. I had a client. This is my last story with the detox. I'm going to go to the next topic. Because I see y'all, the questions are piling up. But one client that I had, like, she got with me for personal training. And I was like, okay, cool. But then she also, of course, she wanted to get on. Because, like, we, we had hit a plateau. It's like, I was like, bro, you've been working out with me for, like, a month or two. And you ain't losing nothing but, but like, five pounds. Something not right. So, and you know, I don't pry. Unless people come to me about stuff like that, I never pry about things like that. But when she started telling me about her body, because I asked her, one of the first things I always ask my clients if they're having struggles to lose weight, well, two things. Like, what are you eating? You know, because I'm always on about what they're eating to begin with. And, you know, I got on about that, but she still was having problems with certain things. But the other thing is, like, how often do you use the bathroom? And I kid you, I'm not making this up, y'all. This girl will use the bathroom once. It, the most she's used the bathroom when we first started training together is three times in a week. 
in a week, not three times in a day, not three times in half a week or a few days. She would have one, she would have three bowel movements in seven days. And there was little to nothing. I was like, well, at least when you have them, are they huge? She was like, it's barely anything. So I put her on my 10 day detox. And then y'all and I believe she's on my uh I believe she's on my Instagram. I want to say you can go to the, like the little moments or whatever. It should be in client testimonials or it should be at the bottom. Because if you go on my TikTok, I got videos on videos on videos. So good luck getting to it from here. But like Instagram, I believe is on there, and you'll you'll see like you, it's a well most of them are like that. But you'll see like the drastic change, you know. And like now, granted, she did go like that's one of my favorite clients. She go hard in our workouts. She always like balls to the wall. Like she don't quit. But even in her first month or two of doing that, she wasn't dropping the weight that I knew she was supposed to drop. Plus, she was in a caloric deficit. But like, you know, we started getting to the nitty gritty of it and like Charlotte was just constipated. And plus, her periods were horrible, you know, but like we got to the bottom of that. I showed her what herbs. I showed her how to eat. I put on the 10 day. Boom. And like ever since then, like even like she'll even tag me sometimes like, hey, I'm back on the 10 day doing my once a month. And her skin popping, her hair popping, like her skin, like she used to have these little skin problems gone. Like she used to be bloated all the time, gone. Like she's like, I can eat and I don't get blah, 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 blah. Like she good now, you know, so that'll be an adjustment from anybody for anybody. But all in all, we have to detoxify ourselves naturally instead of doing these teas and all this other stuff. You know, John, let me stop. I, you know, people gonna think I'm bashing them if I keep talking like this. You know, people can't take nothing these days. I'm working on cleansing my body now. I have kidney issues. I'm vegetarian. Um, how long have you been vegetarian? But I often tell people this too. Even if you switch to like to like veganism, plant based, whatever you want, vegetarian, whatever, you have to cleanse. The reason why I just I just told y'all about old girl, you have to cleanse because you switching your diet does help, does bring nutrients, does push you to a whole nother level. Cytotoxins they are being alleviated, but if you're not actively uh, what's the word? I don't know what's the other word? If you're not cognitively with intention trying to flush yourself out, you still have stuff that's probably sitting in there. Like I remember whenever I did my first enema, and I I was I was like I hadn't eaten meat in like when that's when I first had tried going vegan, and like I hadn't eaten meat for like months. It was months. I was I hadn't eaten meat for a while. Did an enema right, and I did like the uh, I did like the the yoga enema to where it's like once it's in, you know, you move around and like there's certain poses that you do that wish, and you could feel it like it's wishing around. It was like an herbal brew that I did wishing around in there, and when I sat up, my God, the stuff that came out of me, and I'm sitting here like I haven't what like what just confused, but you have stuff just sitting in there, you know. So you have to flush yourself out, you have to detox. That's just that's the game. But uh, if you're looking for something to try, get my uh, detox in my shop. Aloe vera praise hands. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Aloe vera is the key, boy. How do you get probiotics? I often tell people, because I don't I don't like the I'm not team yogurt. That's just that's just me. Because if it has dairy in it, I don't see how that's gonna be beneficial. Then they have the dairy free yoga. I mean yogurt and then blah 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 blah. It's like ah right, yeah, that's cool, but you can literally you can literally get the probiotic. First of all, your body's already naturally producing these things in any way. You have a you have a gut microbiome for a reason, you know. So when you try to alter the chemistry of that, or you're trying to make it, you're trying to do it yourself. Unless you are seriously like deprived and you have actual like chronic problems, you shouldn't be playing with that because you're gonna throw your balance and your chemistry off. Everything about the body is a big science project. Either you're on the alkalinity side, the uh, well, it's reflecting for y'all. So the alkalinity side or the acidic side. Of um of chemistry. Now, granted, you can't be. And here's another thing too. You if you're 100 percent alkaline, you're dead. If you're 100 percent acidic, you're dead. We have to be balanced, you know. So I would say to get probiotics, you definitely got to start your day off with a whole bunch of uh melons. Like you want to hydrate on a nitric oxide level, and you also want to get to the point to where your cardiovascular system can move the nutrients around, like need be. Get on some chlorophyll if need be. Uh, but a lot of melons, a lot of berries first thing in the morning, and then also make sure. That you're taking the herbs that you need to to re-electrify your body. If something isn't firing off right or if your androgen levels are off, that creates even more problems. You know, so like make sure that you're flush. Because like in order for you to get the proper things in your gut and to have proper gut health, you have to have a regular gut. That's really what it is. Instead of people trying to force probiotics and all types of stuff inside their system, focus on eating things that's going to satiate you on a nutritional level, on a healthy level, and it's going to pass. Because if you're not passing things out and you're not putting stuff in there that's going to get you right and alleviate you, then you just you, you can pump as many biotics in your body as possible. You're just creating a cesspool of problems. And then when all that stuff, say it all starts digesting at one time, you're going to be, bruh, it's going to be bad. You know, so just 
do it the natural way. Now, if now look, I'm not one of those people that's gonna say all the doctors out here to demonize about them. No, I'm not doing that because I don't want that type of attention on me. It's like, nah, I'm just trying to get y'all the real deal un un extremist unbiased i'm just trying to look i'm right i don't stand on meat pro meat or pro plants like i'm just going to tell y'all what i know through to my clientele and my studies what i've seen heal people and what i've seen works based on my research so it's like just understand that if you're going to take this next step and healing your gut you have to consume the things that are going to refortify your digestive system because if you don't do that you're going to have the problems that require this biotic and add this and blah 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 like go research l-glutamine go research aloe vera the, the stomach benefits of uh, aloe vera go get the, actually go get the book um holistic remedies uh no 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 no. it's called the the hidden herbal what's called the loss the lost herbal remedies it's a green book with like the gold trim with, with the letters like you have my grand is gonna tell you about everything everything but you have sections of typical herbs excuse me uh different herbs and stuff like that that's going to tell you how to um well what exactly is going on and it's going to tell you like well how this exactly like benefits your stomach and blah 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 but glutamine and just herbs and fruits in general and you'll you'll see You'll definitely see what, pro what probiotics do you recommend? I, I don't recommend any. Thank you so much. Anytime, love. Come fly with me. What's going on, Chef? What's going on? Long time no see. Jay in the building. What probiotics do you, what probiotics do you recommend? None. If y'all if y'all was up in here this whole time, like, oh, and if all the new people, the one thing that I ask if y'all come up in here and y'all fresh, there's a meter up here. All you got to do is tap on my screen and as many times as it takes you to get from here to here. You're going to see some confetti whenever you stop. That's all I ask you. It just throws me in the algorithm. It gets more people in here because I feel like people get annoyed when you ask them to follow and like and subscribe and blah, 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 blah. Even though I would love for y'all to do that, the easier way to just put me out there to people that's just going to naturally do it and that's naturally going to rock with me and that's naturally going to just follow me and stuff like that. Just tap the screen. Do you due diligence? Then we up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to try to force y'all to do this, that, and the third. It is what it is. Either you rock with me or you don't. I don't force it. Um, so how do you get, God, okay. so how do you get your prebiotics and products is the best purest form? Well, I just said that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got a lot of the same questions. It should be the consistency of floating solid mashed potato. Wait, what? Floating solid mashed potatoes, not to grow a lot. Oh, you're talking about fecal matter. Yeah. So I agree with everything up into the mashed potato part because like, well, no, 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 no. Uh, Cause I thought about a different type of mashed potato. No, you're right. And I, the one, if, what y'all really need to, to like realize what the best, like the most important part of what was just said is the floating part. Like, I'm not going to go into details because I feel like a lot of y'all just going to get grossed out. I'm not because I already didn't see about 10 people that dropped up out of here since we started talking about fecal matter. But um, when it comes down to to your um, fecal matter floating, right, like that's signs of really healthy stool. I'm talking about really healthy stool. So the way you get that is to make sure that you are properly and it may, and if you don't have it now, that's fine. Nobody's saying you're sick. Nobody's saying like, oh, run to the hills. Nobody's look. Relax. We're just trying to give tips. So how you get that is essentially what I said before. Cold pressed fruit juices. Don't get nothing that's pasteurized or from concentrate and citric this blah blah blah. Cold pressed fruit juices. Uh, eat your greens, target your liver, a lot of dandelion root, a lot of milk thistle, things that's going to help you out in the long run and then eat better. If you like, and I always tell this a lot of my clients, start you a food journal. If you're like, and, and not just any food journal, don't just go get the, the, my fitness pal app. And it's like, Oh, the macros and the sugar and the blah, blah, blah. That's very important, but that's not what I'm getting at. I'm mean, we taking it up another level. What I need you to do is write down. Okay. I crave this at this time. I ate this at this time. This is how my body felt at this time. And this is when I use the bathroom. That alone, that structure alone is going to guide you through every illness that you have. I just got a notification that we are 93% of, we have a customer satisfaction rate of 93%. And that's what I'm talking about because you can't please everybody. But Coach Brian pleasing most of his people. That's what I'm talking about. But you, that system alone is going to show you the, the, the source of most of y'all illnesses and problems. I tell people, and, and it may sound so cliche because people hear from everywhere, but you have to, you just have to say it. It's like the source of our problems come from what we are eating. 
and if you're not eating properly, then you were ha- you were gonna have a problem. Like it's just it's inevitable. It's like if you're not and I and look, I'm not saying be perfect. Nobody perfect, bro. Nobody is perfect. I'm not saying oh I got to eat my my vegetables and my fruits 24 seven and nothing else. Like we human. Like people are gonna have a week on of doing good and the weekend come around, they do what they do and then they come back and put they. I got clients like that. I got clients that's healing that's doing that. You know, I'm on a behind Monday through Friday, but I understand your Saturday, Sunday, if you ain't got the discipline or you haven't found things to replace the bad things that make you feel good, that's fine. Like, I understand with most of my clients, the first month is them falling off. I don't even count the first few months of them like whenever they start with me because it's like most of y'all, y'all have y'all haven't even been on something like this. So I expect y'all to be messing up here and there. And then on the weekends, y'all going to have brunch and mimosas and stuff like that. That's cool. But when month two, three hit. All right, let's get serious because you didn't have all of this to try to, to, you know, to build your discipline and your consistency and stuff like that. So, okay, it's cool. It didn't work. You was doing, you was getting majority of it. That's cool. So I'm not even going to be hard on you because you're human. You've been eating a certain type of way and enjoying food a certain type of way for 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, however old you are, you've been eating a certain type of way for so long. So if I come around and I'm trying to, I'm trying to migrate you to a better form, that's one thing about me. I'm going to omit and replace. I'm not just going to say no, 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 no. That's boring. I was that person like what years ago. That is boring. It def- and most of that food don't taste good. Stop. People need to stop lying to themselves. Bro, look, if you plan on going vegan, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh yeah, when you go vegan, uh, you're not even going to crave meat no more. No, I miss ribs. And that's why I be eating them from time to time. You know, it's like, and we just got to keep it a book. It's like certain, those foods taste good. We've been raised on that. We're genetically inclined out of habit to eat those things. But if 80% of my entire life, 80% of my diet is everything that's going to purge me, that's going to uh, give me nutrients, that's going to keep me. And that's another thing too. The reason why I omit and replace is because you're going to get to a point to where you're going to have a healthier tolerance level. So when gunk gunk or junk comes through your system, you're going to feel bad because your body now has a discernment of, OK, this doesn't do us any, any well, but this does. So when this comes in here, you're going to feel like this because we don't know what to do with this anymore or it's disrupting the chemistry or the flow of what we have going on. You know, so it's OK. For y'all to fall off here and there, because I, I once again I don't I don't expect perfection from nobody, even the greats, even the people that's been like Dr. Sabi and Yaki and all of them, and like yeah, like I mean I don't like if they are that's cool, but at the same time it's like I don't yeah, nobody's God, you know? Do we, should we strive to have that level of discipline? Of course, but nobody's God, so I'm not about to sit here and try to hold you up to that pedestal, knowing doggone well that the average person can't do that. But in that same breath, month three, once you get here. We got to kick it up a notch. We got to get you a little bit more inclined on the healthier side of life, regardless of what we flipping around, omitting and putting back wherever, you know, but that's just, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, either you're going to, these things yield these results, period. That's just life. You have an input and you have an output. So whatever your output is, is going to determine what you put in. So, and that's just life. Is that ain't even to slight nobody. It is what it is. What's the best, no, what's the detox protocol? If you're talking about mine. So my, my, my protocol is a PDF uh, protocol. <laughs> it's a, a PDF protocol. And um, it shows you essentially how to flush out your system. It explains the lymphatic system. It explains how to flush. It explains the best herbs. It explains the, like, I have fruit. Day. Like, I, I'll break it all down, bro. I came, like, you just got to get it. <laughs> like, I'll break that joint down. I You know, honestly, I should put it on sale. Because I'm really pushing my book right now. I just dropped a book uh, called Coach's Quick Fix. And like it's an eighty page book. It was an ebook because this one's like one hundred seventy something dollars. My ebook is like twenty five dollars. I wasn't about to make try to get people. To, I know they're not going to do that. But um, I spend money on collegiate level books, like two hundred dollar books. But I'm not. You know, I'm not. I don't expect y'all to do that. But like when it comes down to like my detox and stuff like that, like I said before, you can go to my Instagram because my TikTok is full of content. So like, good luck getting to that. Uh, unless I have it in the playlist, which I don't remember at this moment. But like, if you go to my Instagram, you'll go to my memories and stuff like that, where I have like client testimonies. Like, you'll see it. You scroll through my Instagram, you'll see it. Like, I have buku results everywhere. And yes, aesthetically, you'll lose the weight, and is that in the third? But I target the lymphatic system, and I get the gunk out. And I'm gonna show you how to get it out each and every month. That's what my joint is. Check that out. Somebody said thank you. You're welcome, love. Since two, wait, hold up. God dog it. I gotta scroll up sometimes, y'all since give me a second give me a second give me a second i gotta get up i gotta get up since 2015 i've been vegetarian i used to eat 
the vegan foods too and see and, and like i said that you the same person i was talking about stomach stuff earlier like cleansing early like just because you switch don't mean it's a, you know what i'm saying it don't mean it's a real like you gotta actually fast you gotta actually like the last fast i did was 10 days just grapes i did like two to three pounds a day on my last two days i didn't even eat i lost my sensation of hunger but whenever i did like whenever like the end of my fast came and I had like this, like, I didn't eat for like two days, but I had like this crazy bowel movement on the last day. And like, after that, I, cause like my stomach was acting weird. I don't even know why. My, I don't know what it was. I probably didn't wash something like a fruit or something. Probably, I don't know what, something probably got in my system. I don't know what it was. But then when I flushed it, cause like, once again, we human, we not God, you know, things happen. I'm not going, it is what it is. But I had a bowel movement and then like, I ain't going to describe that. It was, it was crazy. I had a bowel movement, but then like, shoot, I'm good. You know, and I was plus I was working out throughout the time period too. So it's just, hey man, y'all gotta y'all gotta flush. I and I'm not the only person on social media saying that. So you gotta flush, bro. It is what it is. Let me scroll up. I have one. What's your best selling product? As of right now, my 10 day detox is probably sold the most units. But I'm really trying to push this book because even though I want people to get the detox and, you know, y'all want to lose the weight for hot girl summer and y'all want to get healthy, blah, 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 blah. I like to educate people like I'm not going to be able to start dropping my herbal proprietary blends for another month or two because we just got the Department of Revenue to send us the paperwork we've been needed because I have a wholesale account with um, Star Wars Botanicals. They finally cleared me as one of their account uh, distributors. So now I can actually get my stuff sourced properly and not cost me two, three thousand dollars every time. Yeah, I'm going to stop. But anyways um i'm gonna be making herbal proprietary blends that's gonna be a physical product that's probably gonna take over by storm because i'm targeting like pro like major pro i'm gonna target this stuff but um on top of that and i'm gonna be doing teas too but for as of right now i'm really trying to push this book because i love to educate i like for people to get their own perspective and get information that's why i always tell people go read like i have and i, I gotta stop doing it. i do this every episode but i gotta i gotta tell y'all i got rows of books up here i got books over there i got books plethora of books down here i got four terabytes of an external hard drive plugged into my computer of books and then i got my books in my room i got books in the living room like there's a book or there's a shelf of books everywhere in my house you know it's like you have to read you have to and i even go study like i do case studies i study my own like i go back and do my work for my own clients okay this person took this long this herb did this when she was eating this and he was blah 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 you know it's like you just got to take the time to ingest and i know it may seem like a lot I've been doing this since 2013, so I, I know it sounds like a lot because I'm taking all of this knowledge and trying to put it into like these mini videos on TikTok and give it to y'all on these podcasts, but I'm just trying to sow seeds. I'm trying to get you, and the reason why I made the book, you know, is like it's an illness, and then it's like here's what I here's holistically what I feel like uh I believe that causes it. Here's the herbs, here's the you know, like I'm I'm breaking it down as simple as I as simply as I can, you know, so that's just that's that's why I'm at with that. It's like I don't really, to be honest with you, like I only know my detox is my best selling thing because I just got common sense. Like every time I check an order, it's that, you know. But and and I'm thankful. Like shout out to God. Like I'm I'm very thankful for that because it is that's my profession. It is what it is. But I I would rather people go crazy for my book than they do the detox because I want to spread that ideology. I want to spread those concepts of. Okay, even though you can come to me to be healed and like get all these things and these remedies and stuff like that, but let's go deeper. Let's let's have something that sticks with you that's actually going to be like, oh, well, it means this, and oh, well, you put this together, and like, I'm just here for the knowledge. I'm just here for making our people smarter, and as that it is what it is. That's just me, y'all. What's the book again? It's called Coach's Quick Fix. You can go on my uh, go to coachbrian.com. Or you can go to click the link in my bio. It's like the first link. I'm going to just keep right because y'all keep asking about this book. I'm going to just keep it so I can grab it. But um, uh, click the, it's the first link in, my, in the link in my bio. You click this, boom, book. It's going to should do this little thing, this little animated thing. I took my time to design it. So y'all going to click on that animation. Uh, Give me details. By what, my love? By what? Coach, thanks for answering my question. That's what we do. That's, that's what the live is. It's like I come on here and educate, but I want y'all to talk. Like I want y'all to ask questions like, Normally, I got people going live, too, but people been scary lately. I don't know why. But normally, we have discussions and stuff like that, so tap in. Facts, bro. I've been juicing a gallon of watermelon juice and drinking that instead of water. Yeah, I, bro, I did. Oh, oh, that's you. Oh, my. The goat up in here. Dude, that play bass with Robert Glasper. Um, what I was about to say. Yeah, it, it's a game changer, bro. Like, it hydrates you on a whole nother level. And then, little that people know, well, most most men don't know this, but watermelon juice, actual cold-pressed, like, organic uh, watermelon juice is um is natural Viagra. 
it's natural Viagra. You know, so <laughs> uh, first time tuning in, you know you're blank literally. Yeah, <laughs> you funny. You are funny. I'm surprised they even let you put that word on here. Because if I say that, they flag me. Or if somebody put that, they typically blank out or they, it goes great to where I know y'all can't see it, but I can see it. It grays out the comment. That's interesting. But yeah, I mean, you have to. I have a chart. I, do, I study uh, iridology as well. I have a chart showing like the colon and how the reflexes work from the different parts of organs. Like I tell people the stomach, bro. You have to focus on the stomach to really alleviate, alleviate these problems. Uh, are you taking new clients? Yeah, for sure. Um, you can go. It depends on what you want to do, though. So you go to the link in my bio. You can book a consultation with me and uh, we can have like either 30 minute or hour conversation to get things started. Or you can go. Yeah, just do it like that. Or you can just go to Instagram and DM me if you don't want to do it. depends on how you want to do it. But just just contact me. You contact me, whether it be email, Instagram, consultation, so we can have a conversation. Now, I will say, if you get a consultation, we're going to actually talk. If it's Instagram, I mean, I get to you immediately because I have a lot of questions and emails to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a lot of um, e- I have a lot of stuff just to tend to. So if it's not in my consultation area to where like it's already booked in and in my schedule, how my computer does all of that, then I'm not going to say you're going to get lost, but it's going to take about two days for me to get to you. Like... That's just how it is. I have a lot of stuff to do when it comes out to dealing with people, but I'm never saying no. I'm never turning people down because I don't want, for lack of better terms, I don't want somebody's blood on my hands, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to have the time or the knowledge and resources to help somebody, and I don't give them a way to get to me, or like, we, I don't take the time to help somebody out, or at least have an option for them to get to me, because then that was my responsibility. See, the thing that separates me from a lot of people is that Yes, I mean, monetary stuff is great because we live in a capitalism society and money and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. But I'm here for the souls. Like, I want to heal. I want to educate. I want to learn. Like, I want I want to take all of this stuff, put it together and be like, look what we did. Look how we regenerated our hive mind. Look how we regenerated our society. You know, so because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I can't take money with me. I can't take food with me, but if you a soul just like I'm a soul, like we go on eternity. You feel me? So it's like we get to we get to literally go for the rest of the eons with like just like the positive things that we did, the healing that we did, the essence of you know that spirit lives on. So like I'm great. Look, I'm grateful for what God has blessed me with. I'm grateful. I'm not. No, I'm wrong. I'm not rich. Let, let's start there. Like, <laughs> like I don't make over forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. I do not. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I'm not rich. <laughs> I I save my money to pay my bills. Let's get that established. But um, and I mean, I'm not rich yet because I mean it is a goal of mine. But like, I I want to do it in organic way. I know there's business tactics and blah 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 blah. But like, I want to do this in a way that's conducive to healing people, and then the money just follows as opposed to let's put the money first and blah blah blah. Like, yeah, nah, that, that's just I feel like you reap what you sow. When you when you lead like that, destruction comes and that money just goes away. You know what I'm saying? So and I, and I already like I'm a provider. So it's like as fast as money comes to me, I take care of like my bills and stuff like that. But I do believe in helping my family and friends, giving them opportunities, you know, showing them how to do this, that and the third, helping them start their businesses and stuff like that. So and that's just the type of person I am. But like before I go on to the next thing, I, I guess I'll say this. Um, it's imperative that we make sure that we have because y'all know me. I'm big on intentions. We have to be strong with our intentions and be consistent with our intentions. I told, Where is it at? Is it even in here? It's way, I, I'm not doing it. It's way over there, but I don't, y'all can't even see that. But I have like a vision board I just redid. And like for the next six months, well, the rest of the of the year, essentially, thank you for the flowers, my love. For the rest of the um the year, I have a vision board of like what I want to manifest. So I didn't write on there, I got to sell, blah, 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 and get this to these people. It's like, nope, God, okay, here's what I'm believing in. Here's what I need. Here's what I want. All right, let's make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Because like my source isn't 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 physical. I'm just gonna keep it a bug. I'm not even trying to be deep or spiritual or religious. I just don't believe that this is my source. I don't believe that physicality is my source. I feel like that I put my intentions out. I, I study. I show myself approve. I do my due diligence, and then I get rewarded from that. What you want to call it? Call it a uh, what they call it? Feng shui or uh, not karma? What they call? It? Yeah, yeah, karma. However, you, however you want to think about it, it's like it's just the basic laws of the of the earth. It's just what it is. So. While we in this realm, let's function right. I'm addicted to starches like pasta. Who who are you telling? Who you a pasta? Child, I was the pasta king. You know, you feel me? So like, I'll say this: if you're trying to get off of it, kamut. You got like kamut. You got spelt. Start off with those two. 
you and and I forgot what the other one is. There's another type of pasta that I had to switch to because pasta for me, even though I love it, ooh, it would tear up my stomach. It would tear up my stomach. So like I had to resource and get all that stuff out of my system. But like those two alone, like you can find it's I said spelt. I don't know if I said spelt. Spelt if I didn't say spelt. And um yeah, that's 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 a that's a great way to sub out and start. And sprout, sprout breads too, like like actual sprouts. Like try that too because them starches and all the white sugars and then the, the disaccharides and the polysaccharides will will just annihilate you. So yeah, tap out of that and tap into the other stuff. But I, I feel you. I feel look, I feel you. Cause I was a look, tacos, pasta pizza. We on the same boat, especially down here in the south. Friend, where you been? Wait, who's this? Bubby and Phil. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Friend, where you been? You haven't popped up in a while. Well, let, let, there's two reasons, and I'm not going to harp on this for too long. There's two reasons. One, TikTok be suppressing stuff because they, mm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get flagged. I don't want to get flagged event. again. I'm back. <laughs> I'll just say that. I'm back. Um, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. So the content is here. I go live. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what it is, too? I changed my live time. For all the new people that's up in here, I used to go live at like 9 o'clock at night. I'm Central Standard Time. So now I go live uh at least monday through thursday um i don't know about the weekends yet because i'll be i'll be needing i'm human y'all i'll be needing my break but um it'd be a lot to come on here and do this and then come back and do it. i still got most of what i gotta do after this but um 3 15 central standard time is the time and I, I came on a little earlier today i'm still gonna do my whole hour and a half two hours but um you know 3 15 is my new time uh shout out to you for being a day one though can you outline oh, god dog my bad i'm sorry y'all Scroll back up, scroll back up. My comments be flying around. Can you outline what to do with the food day again? Oh, the diary. So um, you write down. So for all y'all that don't know what she's talking about, well, who, what, what they're talking about, I don't know. If it's a, I don't know what they identify as. Um, so I talked about like a food diary of how to actually find out the source of your chronic illness based off of ingestion. So you start off with your cravings. You start off and you, with your cravings, what you ate to satiate yourself, how you felt, and when was your bowel movement. And you do that every day, every meal. And write down the volume, like like go into detail about your, your bowel movement. It was heavy, you know, it was a lot, it looked like this, it was blah, 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 texture, like so you can know. And then after about a week or two, you'll find your problems. Like for most of my clients, when they start off the first week or whatever, like just, just I want to study you first. Because I know you're coming to me with problems, but I want to study you. So I just tell them, give me a week. Like just, just do this, do this, do this, do that. Like you got to be diligent with it if you want real results. And they send me their charts back. Well, they send me their stuff back. And I'm looking at it, I'm going through it. I'm like, all right, we have our consultations. And you, I could tell when some of them lying. Jesus, it's like, and I be trying to tell people, you don't have to lie, bro. Like, if you was struggling with Popeyes and Canes and, and Chick Fil A, that's cool. But like, I need to know. I'm not about to judge you off of it. Like, you're human. It is what it is. You got struggles. But um, and 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 that's nothing too. A lot of people um live to eat rather than eat to live. So a lot of people eat because they feel some type of way. The reason why I tell people to jot it down like that. But a lot of people eat a certain type of way because they, that's how they alleviate themselves. I done had a hard day at work. I'm on my period. I'm cramping. I'm not in the mood to be bothered. I'm ready to go home. I go get me some Chick-fil-A. I go get me a, a little ice cream or whatever. I go my cookies and cream. And then I'm going to, I'm going to watch my whatever I'm putting on. I'll scroll on, on YouTube or social media. And I'm going to bed. Like that, that alone like gets people like, Oh, I feel nurtured, you know, but that's what creamy substances. I start breaking that stuff down in consultations too. What you craving is because of this, you know, and I'm not your psychologist. I'm not going to ask you about your mental stuff like that because that ain't none of my business. And I'm not trained in that area because I don't want to mess nobody up, but I will show you how certain foods tied to certain emotions. Now, you know what those, cause you know who you are, you know what your problems are. So whenever we start diving into that, you be like, Oh, well, this is what I got to fix. And then we obviously deal with the physical side, the nutrition side, the health side. We tackle all that holistically. But like, I mean, to me, holistic has a lot to has a lot more to do with health than just food and herbs. It's like mind, body, soul, spirit. Like you got to go through all of that. And that's what I'm here for. I don't just talk about food. I talk about like how to even yourself out holistically as a whole, you know. Any insight on hypothyroidism and weight loss holistically? So when it comes out to hypothyroidism, you have to understand that your pituitary glands, your thyroids, and probably your um, adrenal glands are probably overworking. So your cortisol levels are probably extremely high, or you have androgen levels that are imbalanced. So what I typically do for a lot of my thyroid clients, um, whether they have any type of hypo or hyper, like they all, you know, oh, my bad, you said hypo. But hypo means under and hyper means over so either the overworking or underworking either way it's the same fix so i often tell a lot of those clients to make sure that you start your day off 
with I'm talking about with fruit juice. You have no option because you want to make sure that you're shocking the nutritional system first thing in the morning because you, you go through your heaviest amount of detoxification from the moment you wake up to your first and you honestly should be your biggest meal is around 12 o'clock lunchtime. So often tell them to get on macro if you can get it. If not, I'll talk about some other. I, I want to recommend certain herbs, but like I'm not one on one with y'all. So it's like I don't know y'all health situation. And I don't want to give y'all something that's considered hot herbally. And then next thing you know, you got even more problems. So it's like. The safest one to do is probably like some maca root or some uh, American or Panix ginseng. You can get on that. Uh, some Damien, not even Damien, a note. You can get on dandelion root, milk thistle, like I said before, and target the detoxification. And also get on some chlorophyll too, some greens. That's the reason why I say celery juice in the morning too, to flush out those things that's probably blocking your system from doing what it has to do. So, and also try my detox. I mentioned that earlier. Like if you want to do it naturally and you want to do it like holistically with no additives and all the other type of BS and stuff like that, go do my seven or 10 day detox. It, I'm telling you, it's going to, it's going to shake you loose. Like for real, for real. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you think a lazy eye can be fixed? Eye bright. So I never had a, I never had a lazy eye, but I did have an astigmatism. So there's an herb called eye bright, E-Y-E as in the eye and bright as in these bright lights around me. Cause Jesus Christ it's hot up in here cause these lights. But um, I had an astigmatism and it was like it was in my left eye. So what I did was I didn't change my prescription as bad as they wanted me to. I didn't change my prescription. My prescription. I started doing ocular exercises. So I started taking like my glasses off and then I had I don't have a pencil or anything, but like get like a pencil or a pen and then like face it in the corner of the room because, you know, all the little, the little edges meet or whatever. And then you focus on the pencil for like five seconds, make everything around around blurry, but just only make sure that the pencil is clear. And then you focus on the on the wall. Well, in that corner for five seconds and do the same here, here, here. And it's going to strengthen that ocular reflex on top of you taking the eye bright on top of you. Act- now, here's the thing. You got to fast when it comes down to that. That's a lot of mucus that's stuck like in the, the circulatory, er- the cir- the cardiovascular area. I don't know why I'm fumbling over them words uh, around the scalp and things of that nature. So you need to do it like like a a four to seven day fast at least like once a week of just fruit juices and like a lot of eye bright to give your eye a fighting chance because that's basically what it is it's like it's like a how can i put i'm trying to describe it it's like neurologically it's like you're in a car you have your gps on and the next uh the next take the next exit on the right and then like you turn your steering wheel because it's time for you to, to to go to the right and exit off but the car has a latency. The car doesn't actually turn until you didn't pass it up. So now you're hitting the wall or you're hitting whatever the the, the thing that's blocking you from turning into you to miss it. That's essentially what your neurons are doing. You know, it's an ocular dysfunction. So but you can definitely aid it now fixing it 100 percent. I don't really know. I don't want to sit here and lie, but I know for sure that will help tremendously. Like you'll get some type of, you know, like strength and control and some form of hypotrophy from doing that and taking the other uh, and flushing yourself out. You give yourself a fighting chance. But that's how I reverse my astigmatism. Long story short, you're the mentor I've been looking for. I don't know about mentor, but I can I can help you. I can be the friend. <laughs> I don't know. Mentor seems heavy. It's like I could I could I can guide. I can educate. I can help. I can be friend. But to be a mentor is like ooh, whoa. <laughs> it's a lot. That's a lot. But I could yeah. You you in good hands if you come with me. You in good hands. She said wow. I don't know what you say wow for, but I'm I'm here for the wows. Um, I'm seeing all the flowers. Thank y'all so much for the flowers, the likes. Man, y'all, y'all dope, bro. See, this is why I miss coming on live. This is why I had to take my hiatus because a lot of stuff had happened. But this is why I took my hiatus and I came back and I I went on live before I really started posting content because I get to interact with real people. God, I've been hearing about spelt. Yeah, spelt next level, bro. Oh, I love ice cream. I haven't had it in a while though. It'd be like it'd be like that. There's you can make your own natural. Uh I got one of my clients, her name's Ava. She's dope. If y'all go on my YouTube, she's um excuse me, she's a life coach. She um that was like a month ago, I wanna say a month and a half ago, I had posted that. And she's been doing like she's been making her own ice cream with like fruits. Oh my god. Like it's it's good. Like she makes me hungry and she does it the healthy way. Coach, how do you feel about intermittent fasting? I literally bro, I literally went on like a 30 minute rant about this yesterday. It's on my YouTube. It's on it's, this is episode. We're currently on episode 13. Like y'all are part of episode 13. So episode 12 should be it. I believe the title is like old habits die hard. I'm not even going to go into that right now because I feel like I'm a, I'm going to get heated all over again. But go check that out. <laughs> like I'll say I, I I'll say this. I'll leave it at this. I don't want to just not give you any answer other than just go check out the video. But um if you're going to fast, fast for the right reasons and do an efficient fast. Don't just fast because it's cool or it's in a minute and it does this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. Like, 
portion it out the proper way. Make sure that you're fasting for the right reasons to, re- to yield the right benefits and take the time to nourish yourself on and off of the fast. Do not jump into something that your body is not lymphatically ready to do because you will cause severe problems. But go to that. And if I don't know who did somebody just subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're up in here, XXX Tacy, however you say that, much love. Shout out to you. Thank you for that. And if you missing it because you're subscribing and then you're coming back, you're going to see it on this episode because I'm going to post it by tonight. I've been doing real good, y'all. Normally, I say I'm going to post tonight and then I don't post it till the morning because, like, YouTube processing just takes forever for whatever reason, especially over here. So I say tonight and I will, like, it's going to be uploading tonight, but it should be done by tomorrow. Oh, the, the thing's still on. I forgot that was still on. I got my little sound effects board thing right here. Let me stop. All right. Uh, do I have to do celery juice daily? I would advise you to. If you start doing that, once again, I'm not a fan. Like, it tastes horrible, but it yields so many benefits. I just, I'd be feeling like I'm about to throw up, but I still chug it down anyway. Like, it's it's amazing. 16 to 32 ounces. If you're just starting to do 8 to 10 ounces. All right, start with a little shot glass. Boom. Shot of celery juice in the morning. And then you just work your way up. You know, do it like that. Thank you, coach, for your help with the food diary. Of course, of course. And let me know how it go. See, don't be like the other people that come up in here and get all this advice and they get this, that, and the third, and then you don't hear from them again. Oh, I got my results, and you see them like a month ago. Thanks, Coach Brian. I'm like, but you didn't need to, like, <laughs> fill me in. Give me something else other than a picture. Like, fill me in. What did you do? What did you learn? Like, I learned this, blah, blah, blah. Like, what did you learn? Like, you know, I just, that's just me. Uh, Mac or for hypothyroidism. Sorry, I didn't catch all of it. I'm going to reach out. Yeah, just reach out. That's a whole other conversation. So when I got dog it. So when I do this detox, is it safe to be at work for sure? My the first now I will say, y'all got like y'all I, I ain't gonna lie, my old clients probably jealous of y'all because the first detox I did, people were on the toilet severely, like every day, because it was I was young, you know, so I was doing what I knew would work. I was doing it according to a twenty one year old body. So it's like it is it wasn't as universal, but what I'm doing now in the version, I have, I think y'all have like the fourth edition of my 10 uh, day detox out that's out right now. And it's way more gentle on the body. It's way more gentle on the body. So you, you'll be fine. But if you, but I will say, regardless, like if you have a lot of gunk, it's going to try to come out because it doesn't want to stay in there. Like if you got, if you're putting things in it that's meant to purge the cytotoxins and the crap out, it doesn't want to be in there. So it's going to go, it's going to come out. But you should be fine though. I have it. It's not as strict as it used to be either. Like you, you'll see when you get it, like it, it guides you through it. What's up, coach? What's happening? What, who this is? What's happening? Hey, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Fasting is, it isn't great for women. Not all the time. Facts. Oh, you, oh, you been up in here. You replying to every, okay, cool. <laughs> Me, I subscribe. Thank you so much, coach. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Man, I, I love, I love this. This is why I come on live. I love this, like the engagement. You know what I'm saying? It's not like content posts and then people just, I don't know, it's, Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Shoot. I feel more energized and happy when I eat fruits and veggies, as you should. So here's the beautiful part about getting energy from, not even just fruits and I don't know who this is. Should I go live with No, nah, I'm good. Uh, they was asking me to go live with them. I don't feel like doing that right now because y'all, y'all vibing right now. Um, I was about to say, the beautiful part about how we get energy from fruits and vegetables as opposed to meats. Now, now look, this is not me picking the side because y'all know I don't, I don't believe in that extremist stuff. I like to meet people where they at, but here's the benefits of grabbing energy from uh, the carbon constituents of fruits. Should we get educated on the on these fools? Yes, we should. So when you are consuming fruits and you are in the process of digesting said fruits and getting energy from these carbon constituents that inside of the fruits and or fruit juices that you are consuming, it bypasses the pancreas. So it bypasses the pancreas and it doesn't require as much of an insulin response as vegetables do so when you receive the energy from the fruits and it goes directly into the cardiovascular blood system it reoxygenates and it re-energizes the blood system thus giving you more electric energy throughout your body you couple that with some good panax ginseng which is a herb you couple that with that and you watch as the world burns underneath your feet because you can run 10,000 miles. Let me tell y'all something. When I first started, because I, I like running. I like running long distance. Whenever I first started really like drinking fruit juices and using them as pre-workouts and stuff like that, it was as though somebody put, I can't say the word of the drug because they'll flag me. But if they put that that snow bunny, that white girl in my drink and I was in there going crazy. Like, I was working on one of my friends at the time, and he was like, bro, you're not tired? Nope. 
I wouldn't even get sore. I would see the like I would be worried because like I wouldn't be as sore and I'm going in and I'm seeing like the changes. I'm like, but I don't really be getting sore like that. But nutrients, lactic acid being torn down as fast as it it is it, it, being produced as I'm tearing through muscles. So fruit is the way to go. Could this explain why I wake up hungry, hungry? What which mean this? What do, what are you referring to? Because it's different. A different. What are you referring to? Because I don't want to just say yes and then we're not on that. But um, let's see. Is this? There we go. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, my love. But just, just specify. Oh, juicing. So, you, are you asking me that you juicing makes you hungry? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. She said, "Could this explain why I wake up hungry?" Hungry question mark. And then she put. She replied, "Juicing." Uh, I'll say this: You should not. Well, it depends. If you're new to juicing and you're not drinking enough, because I often tell people is like you should be drinking a gallon. Was well, shoot, shooting for a gallon of fruit juice a day. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, you need to try to shoot for a gallon of fruit juice a day because it's going to it's going to essentially revitalize your system and it's going to hydrate you on a whole nother level. You like a lot of people are like, I don't know if I could do it. And I don't know if I could do fruit juice fast and then blah, 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 blah for like a week straight. And I'm sitting here like y'all saying that because y'all haven't consumed like a gallon or a gallon and a half of fruit juice in one day. You can't eat like you don't have the want to eat anything when you're full on fruit juice. I, I I am a personal witness like food, chewing, work. No, <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm I'm a, I'm a pe- no, I'm good. And like, I'm not I'm not dealing with that. But I would say just do that. Try to increase your up your intake on that. What vitamins and minerals does coffee deplete from the body? It depends. It's like. The actual bean itself does wonders, but um, it's more so you got to think about it from like a dehydrative standpoint. So it's like you're going to dehydrate and really go for your liver. You know what I'm saying? It's like like it's going to pull so much from your liver. It's going to pull so much from your gallbladder. Like I often tell people there's a dandelion root substitute. It's like a, I forgot what the brand is, but if you go on Amazon, I found it on Amazon. Well, I found it on Rob Robbie's page and I went to Amazon and look and see if it was real. But um, type in uh, dandelion root coffee replacement dandelion root coffee replacement and it should pop up people and i don't drink coffee but people i read the reviews i read what people said in this comment section i went do some further research on it people say it tastes just like coffee and it gives them the same boost if not better so when it comes down to dehyd- being dehydrated from coffee it's just a different type of pool like it, it literally goes in there and be like give me and then you just sitting there like really bro Really, you know, I gotta stop pressing this button. I'm getting. Let me stop. I feel like I'm destroying your ears. Uh, she said, "Woo, <laughs> coconut water." Yes, coconut water is the true living water. Is the true living water? Like coconut water is dope. Me personally, I went a month and a half. I want to say just only consuming coconut water, and my God, like you are extra hydrated and your sexual performance is gonna go through the roof. I will tell you that it's a whole different type of that. You talk about Viagra, that's real Viagra, but like. It's to me, it's like I have to go on and off it. It's because like I don't want to be that revved up all the time. I'm I have a naturally high energy level and my drive is already high. It's like I'm I'm 27 for y'all that wondering. Like I'm 27. So it's like I just don't need that. Like I, I don't mind it. I'll drink it here and there, but like I don't I don't need that. that that's going uh, she going through enough. <laughs> okay, then that's why I'm hungry. I do not consume enough. Yeah, nine times out of ten. Thank you. You're welcome. Matcha green tea is a nice coffee replacement without the crash. I haven't, I've been seeing matcha all over social media and I'm not a coffee head, so I got to do some more research on it. But something in my spirit is saying something about that is just off. I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go seek for my doggone self. Y'all can inform me if y'all want to, but I don't know about no, no matcha, I don't know coffee, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh coach did you mention pan panex so p-a-n-e-x panex ginseng our american ginseng what do you think about taking macro supplements you must have just got in here we literally talked about that when we first started um i say for the ladies do red for the guys do black now she going through enough she is and not in a bad way just meaning like my drive what i'm saying is she going through enough my drive is high enough for the both of us like when it's gonna be time for us to procreate that should not be a problem it should not be a problem i'll say that um sorry yes i did thank you no no need to apologize just um this episode is gonna be posted 
tonight. <laughs> but for sure, for sure, check tomorrow. This is episode twelve. I still haven't. What should be the name of this episode, y'all? I'm gonna let y'all name this one because normally I name one. Which y'all, which y'all feel like the episode should be named, and I'm gonna take it, and then if it's appropriate, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that as the title because I've been naming these past. 11 12 episodes and i literally be up there on the upload screen like this i don't know what to call this because i just be up in here talking episode 13 brian just talking like i don't i don't know so y'all give me an episode name and i'll name it that um do you think it is safe to take double the dose of black macaroon two tablespoons i feel like one tablespoon is a week it depends so it's like for one follow the suggested doses because it depends on the milligrams that you're taking per per um per serving but i will say if you feel like a herb isn't particularly working Target the diet side first and then worry about the increase. Because a lot of my clients want to do that. It's like, well, I started doubling, blah, 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 blah. But then, but then, and they start saying how the diarrhea came. And then, like, they couldn't sleep. And then someone was like, yeah, was like, you should just, that means that something else is going on, you know? So, uh, for sure, target, like, if you feel like the MACA, depending on what your desire is for the MACA to do, um, I would say I'm a big, especially when it comes down to like sexual function, performance, and uh, hormones and stuff like that. Fruit juices, bro. Like, get you some cucumbers and apples. Blend those together. Well, juice those together. Some celery juice. You can do orange juice. You can do especially watermelon. My God, for men, watermelon is like the blue pill of fruit. So, like, get that. Um, some watermelon and cinnamon. If you want to throw that a little splash of cinnamon, that's gonna help out too. That helps with nitric nitric oxide production and breathe more through your nose than your mouth because that's gonna help too. But um. It just it just depends. It's like it's a it's a situational uh type of type of thing. It just it's from person to person. Um, is there any way to maintain weight while juicing? It seems impossible. It depends. It's like muscle stays, and muscle is more dense than fat is. Me person, when I juice and do my fast and all that type of stuff, I'm still working out. I mean, I'd be working out as intensively because I'd be to pass out in there. But like, I still work out and I typically maintain my size. And I've seen other people that eat mostly vegetables and fruit juice and they mean they, they're bigger than me you know so it's like you have it you mm, i feel like you'll lose weight depending on what your body's used to doing to gain mass but after a few months or six months you'll probably like just being realistic your, your body will probably adjust to it but that's just something you can't fight you know it's like it's like you're juicing and you you got all this inflammation coming out and stuff like that it is what it is but then whenever you're off of that go back to your caloric surplus or go back to the caloric maintenance of what that desired weight is and then you'll be fine you know and that's just that's just life it is what it is man what are your thoughts on apple cider vinegar i hate it i hate it i don't know i shouldn't have gotten y'all like that but i just I, I it's not that i hate it it's just that oh my god I, like i don't like acidic stuff like that like like when it comes down to lemons and limes, it's like you can eat those things and then they convert into alkalinity within the body. They're acidic, but they convert. And like when it comes down to apple cider vinegar, it just goes and eats the enamel of your teeth and it tears up your uh mucoid ducts and your what's it called? The um I can't even think about the the name of the duct. There's some little things that's going inside. I forgot what that actual molecule is. It tears that up, it tears up the liver, it tears up your tracts, it tears up your bladder, it does horrible things to the prostate for men. My God. But like, I don't, I don't know, you know, more power to y'all if y'all could tolerate it and stuff like that. It's just not my cup of tea at all, at all. And one of my favorite, I'm talking about one of my most favorite fitness influencers. She's like, her name is Carolyn Fit. She is the best. Like, she looks amazing. And she has like 10 years, if not 11, 12 years of work on her body, like her just hitting the gym. And because she always did like soccer and stuff like that. But then she got to bodybuilding. That girl's physique is crazy. It's crazy, and she's a big apple cider vinegar fan. I'm just like, every time she put, I'm taking my morning shot, and I'll be like, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, but like, she looks great, (laughs) and she looks healthy. I don't know her personally. I want to invite her on the live one day because, like, but I'm gonna have to like prepare myself because I feel like I'm gonna get excited because I'm a big fan. So like, I'm I'm gonna have to. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to just look (laughs) because she, she, man, that girl is amazing. Like. And what, what, I'm not saying it just because she looks good. Like when I went and look at her page and I went and look at what she does and how she got to where she's at and what she believes in as far as like most things nutritional and how she feels like building it up like on a muscular level, she takes her time. Like she's like, okay, if it doesn't work like this, I ex- I, exa- uh, I exaggerate the stress on this. And if I don't want to go heavy, I, like she just thinks outside of the box rather than welcome to chess day. We're going to put 150 pounds, blah, blah, blah. And I'm and look, I'm not knocking that because like who doesn't want to be that strong? That's fire. But like, you know, it's not just that one way of thinking, even though it, it ain't broke, don't fix it. I get it. But it's like she just presented to me 
ten thousand ways to do one thing and i'm that type of person i'm an innovative type of person i don't like just one way of doing stuff i like routines don't get me wrong but like if i can find another way to do the same thing if not more efficiently but as an alternative and option i'm gonna do it that's just me her name is uh carolyn fit um c-a-r-o-l-y-n fit f-i-t she's a hispanic woman um she got long curly hair she's a li- I want she's definitely brighter than me but not too much brighter than me but you can't miss I mean she her legs like and she that's the thing like she looks I'm not even gonna go into that because that's gonna that's gonna start something that's gonna start some some I'm not gonna do that but she but to say she's been lifting weights and she's that muscular like she doesn't look all over the place like she has a very like maintained physique it looks like she's been doing this for 10 years it looks like she's just on another level with this game you know so y'all go check out y'all go check out and y'all whack y'all ain't put no doggone episode uh suggestions in here so y'all whack for that but let me see what time is 4 23 okay we still got some more time because i gotta i gotta go take a shower again i have because i've been dealing with them dogs and that baby not my baby but uh my little nephew and i have like just just i have a strong nose for all y'all that don't know i have an insanely strong nose so i can still smell the activities from earlier like the fetch and the food and him flying around in diapers and stuff and it's just no matter how much hand sanitizer i put on it's jesus christ but um let me see no i don't want to talk about that no any holistic remedies for hsv2 that's gonna be see i'll be mindful of how i talk about it on here because the last time i did that some you got to just message me personally we're gonna have to have a, a personal um conversation because the last time i did that some people ran with that stuff and they just and that was on my fault because i shouldn't have suggested those herbs and they went through like a purge purge and i was like good thing herbs most herbs ain't gonna kill you but like like, but I, I couldn't be mad because i was like okay yeah try this try this try this try this and i was just in that mode of just like okay yeah these herbs work that because i have two clients i have i have two hsv clients the first one um we got rid of hers in like a month or two the second one she's almost done with hers and um you know it, it's it's like we we take the time to do the right things so if you want to really dive into that hit me up outside of this and i'll dive with, into you with that because i don't want no you know i just don't want people going crazy uh, I try to stay away from daily, but lose what? I try to stay away from daily, but lose weight easier. What can I? Oh, you meant to say dairy. I try to stay away from dairy, but lose weight easier. What can I substitute with to keep weight on? Yeah, I figure you meant dairy. Um, I'm conf- I'm still kind of confused because it it sounds like you're saying you need dairy to to maintain weight. I don't know if you've ever heard of like caloric surpluses or like um are uh macro sur- surpluses like you should get into that because you might it's it's like like i said before input and output if you're expending if you're if your natural state burns 2000 calories just you if you could just sit in the room for 24 hours and your body says i'm going to burn 2000 calories a day and you add on let's just say the next day you add on movement so you're working out or you're walking or whatever you're dead you're so you have so you're not working out and that expenditure adds 500 more calories you burn throughout the day. So 2,500 calories is the amount of calories that you naturally burn just being yourself on a day-to-day basis. In order to gain weight, you must eat at, you must eat over that amount. So roughly, let's just say 3,000 calories a day. You know, that's how that works. So I wouldn't necessarily focus on a food group. I would focus on the overall amount of sustenance you have to eat to gain maintain or lose weight that's typically how i go about with my uh with my clients i just found out i am diabetic and all thyroids and cholesterol is out of control with herbs do i i do walk daily that's a diet problem i love we talked about that earlier um but the safest thing you can get on for right now milk thistle dandelion root and uh bilberry i'm saying again milk thistle dandelion root and bilberry you get on those three herbs keep walking every day for sure but um eat and drink fruits that are on the low glycemic uh reaction scale the lowest ones but go crazy on them and uh even with your vegetables too but could just and like i said i don't pick sides i don't do the animal protein and the, the plant protein i don't do that whole battle that's not my thing but i'm gonna tell you what works um cut out the meat for a little while you know let your body rest even if you got to go on a fast new just fruit juices only and just and, and walk like like take your time and get your system back in control because nine times out of ten is what you're consuming that's typically what it is 
holistic remedies for thyroids. We talked about that earlier. Um, I talked about macaroon. I talked about food androgens, all that type of stuff. Um, I don't. Let me actually answer. Cause I don't want it to sound like I'm just shooing you off because I'm and I'm because I'm thinking because like I know this episode is gonna be on YouTube later, but um, I'll say I'll say this. Target a lot of fruit juices in the morning. Uh, especially like watch what you're eating because like a lot of the, the hormone imbalances be coming from like the foods that we eat and like the you gotta watch what you're putting on like even your, like your deodorants and your soaps like make sure they're organic and natural no aluminum no micro metals like even start intaking chlorophyll to whether you can purge because if not like you just it's gonna stay all over the system it's gonna stay everywhere any holistic remedies to combat someone dealing with hs um what exactly which which hs are you referring to because i didn't see people put hashimoto as hs there's another thyroid thing i hasha so something that's hs i didn't see some people who use herpes simplex as hs like so what what exactly is hs that you're referring to because that's three four different completely different ways to like alleviate that or combat it coach the gallon of fruit juice day is that fi- what whoa the gallon of fruit juice day is that a detox slash cleanse um that's whenever you're doing like to try to satiate yourself on fruit juices and things of that nature that's that's exactly what that is so micro root fruit juices and chlorophyll yeah for sure hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism herbals um well y'all asking a lot of the same stuff uh oh do i do i because i want to I think it's the perfect time for me to explain some stuff out of my book. All right, let's talk about thyroids. So I have chapter 11 of my book is the thyroid pituitary protocol. And it's essentially going to help you with that. So let's let's talk about it for a second. So thyroid 101, like I said before, these two glands serve as the body's master glands. A malfunctioning or overactive pituitary gland is the main contributor to most reproductive issues. The main cause of metabolic and hormonal issues is the thyroid gland. Your body contains too much acid, and as a result, these glands have swollen as a result of lymph, uh, lymphatic package, packing them, lymph packing them. I'm reading too fast. The bacteria begins to eat up the acids as a result, but they are locked inside the lymph nodules. They are unable to drain efficiently, thus it builds up. There are berries. Uh, there are berries everywhere. Every single antioxidant in the berries is connected to a certain gland in your body. To start the detoxification process and efficiently cure these glands, consume berries, melons, and salads in that sequence. These ought to be the majority of your everyday diet, as opposed to meats and prepared foods. Now, the three herbs you should focus on is one lemon balm. Two. See, that's it. Mm, 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 mm. Let me tell y'all something about some lemon balm. It's gonna see you in the bathroom, but it's gonna do you it's gonna do you some justice. Lemon balm, you got a Rodelia Rose, and you got evening prime rose. So lemon balm, like I said, all, all those three herbs. I'm not even gonna die because that's a whole nother chapter of me just like reading all of that. All of those three herbs essentially like rebalance out everything I said before, like your thyroids and things of that nature. But yet again, like just like I said now, just like I said in the book, like a bunch of berries, a bunch of melons, like making sure you're taking the time. To ingest things that will not throw off your hormonal balance. And you have to flush your system off. Because if you don't, it's going to be problem after problem. I promise you. Uh, do you have any advice from fibromyalgia? It's pretty much the... Okay, so when it comes down to fibromyalgia, I'll, I'll tell people this. You have what's called cytotoxins, right? And they can't really get out of the body um like they need to and you have all of these accumulations and buildups that's just stuck right so you need to starve out the problem it's one of them situations to where it's like you you really need to starve out the problem so i oftentimes tell people like i said before even though it's good to like do the berries and the melons and all that type of stuff you need to make sure that you are fasting and starving out the toxins you need to make sure that you're only doing fruit like a little bit more extreme fruit juices for like a week once a week, I mean, once a month, one full week, once a month. That's what I want to say. One full week, once a month. And then you'll find yourself uh, being more alleviated, more balanced. Like you'll find you you might even pass some cysts. You know, I have some people that like they'll get on my detoxes. I will do our consultation. They'll do like their custom protocols and like they'll juice for a while. And then all of that endometrium lining starts healing. All of that, uh, all of the pituitaries start healing. All of the endocrine and their digestive starts healing. Then they start passing cysts. They start passing fibroids. They start passing mucus. They start passing intestinal like plaque and stuff like that. So that's really what it is. 
personal. Thanks, I appreciate you. No problem. I have to watch out for sweet fruits. There are herbs for sure. Are they are these herbs for fr- are fruits? They were uh, herbs and fruits. No, no, no. The stuff I you talking about what I told you earlier? That's all herbs. Um, but last thing, cause I just realized what time it was, and I got a, I got more business too. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been on here since since like I went some change. But um, what are your thoughts on zeolite powder? Ze- first of all, first of all, it's crazy that you say that. That's confirmation because I'm about to actually start. You'll see. I do zeolite is fine. You'll see. But um, I'm actually about to get off. But I will say this. For all the people that's asking about the book, click the link in my bio. Um, it has the first link should be the book. And if you worried about it, if you want to look at the um the detox as well, it should be like the fourth or fifth link. I want to say it's gonna say detox here. But if not, go to coachbrian.com if you want to do it like that. But um I'll say I'll say this. I'll say this. Cause y'all know I ha- I have to leave with like the biggest point. I have to leave this podcast with like the biggest point. We can talk if y'all notice, there's great parallels and similarities to pretty much every form of healing there's differences but like the format and the structure is typically the same i'm not saying like us as holistic healers we're like heal all and do this that and the third but if you know this there's a method to the madness and there's a structure that you can follow that will heal you you know what i'm saying so like you have to make sure that you're aligning yourself up with the things that's going to actually put you in the proper spaces and allow you and yield detoxification for your body because if you don't, you're gonna be just looking at roads and roads and roads that you gotta climb on a continuous basis. So, like I say, with everything, you have to leave with intention. Do your due diligence. Do your research and do your studying. I have content. Yaki got content. Ginger Duclu got content. Doctor Light Africa got content. Doctor Melanie Stevens got content. Doctor Robert Morris got content. The list goes on. Go get their books. Go get my books. Go study. Like. Put y'all nose to the ground, just like y'all will be on social media. Y'all looking at the newest shoes, the newest cars, or whatever your dreams and goals are, that's fine. But focus on healing and educating yourself so where you can figure this stuff out. And then when you you come back to my live and we have and I'm having these discussions, it clicks a little bit better. It sticks a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? So like just take the time to really alleviate yourself with wisdom before you worry about the quick fixes and the remedies not to say that y'all shouldn't like for everybody that's up in here that asked a question that's in that's in uh interacting with me and engaging with me y'all did nothing wrong but i just like to let people know that the same thing that i'm doing for y'all and the same thing that y'all coming to me for and granted it may seem like a long time but what's a year what's seven years what's 10 years of like really cracking down on your books and like really learning the anatomical physiology of humans you know like the actual breakdown of like herbs and like illnesses and stuff like that just take your time and do it book by book morning by morning and watch and i, and I see a lot more questions in here y'all and a lot of stuff like this yeah give me the 10k likes i, I agree with that but i see a lot more questions and stuff like that but I, I really gotta go i got stuff to do but um if y'all missed any and a lot of y'all and i'll say this to a lot of y'all that ask the, the a lot of these hormonal questions and thyroid stuff like that please go on my youtube like this is episode that because we, we talked about a lot of that today Please get this. I'm, well, not please get this. Go watch this tomorrow morning. It might be up tonight. I don't know because YouTube be taking long to process. But like tomorrow morning, for sure, like go watch it. Y'all about to give me the 10K. I love y'all so much. Y'all did that in like 10 seconds. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. But um, man, that's real. That's real. That's real. Like, see, and that's why I don't force people to follow me. Like, I want my tribe. You know what I'm saying? People that's going to actually just for the, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to put me in the algorithm just to do it. Like, this is the stuff I be talking about, bro. Real friends, real people. But um Mommy Shaq, before you even say anything, I see you in the building. What's happening? What's happening, my love? She a day one. But um but yeah, all of the stuff I'm talking about that we talked about today is gonna be on YouTube tonight, if not tomorrow morning. Thank you for the rose, my love. And um all the other stuff. I don't take anything down off of my YouTube. Like even whenever I had a different ideology and I was on some different stuff, I keep that up so people can see the transparency. People can see the growth. You know, so go to the bottom of my YouTube and come all the way up or go watch the past three episodes of, of the podcast that I put out, like, go check this. Oh, you finished the detox? Thank you. Thank you. Please, please give us a video of the results and the process. Please. I've been I've been waiting on you to do it. But um, no shade, no tea. Just saying. But um, but yeah, y'all, go go check all this stuff out. Like a lot of people ask me a lot of the same questions. And yes, I like you would figure I would get tired of coming on these podcasts and answering the same questions, but I don't because I love the fact that y'all are inquiring. Y'all smart. Y'all wanna know more. Y'all going through and y'all want to heal. Like I rather this than just oh go look at blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? I say that that's why I say that towards the end, towards like okay, y'all miss this. And tomorrow I you know what tomorrow I'm definitely gonna go live tomorrow. I can promise y'all that. Tomorrow I'm going live tomorrow. Cause I don't have rehearsal Thursday, so I'm definitely gonna be on here tomorrow. So I don't have to go over music. But um 
But yeah, y'all, just make sure that uh, don't forget your blah blah blah. What? My bad, y'all. I had an Amazon thing pop up. I don't got nothing in the cart. I don't know who's shopping on my stuff. But um, but yeah, y'all, just take the time to go really like really study this stuff. Go watch my videos. Go find books. Like go to my Amazon storefront. I have books that I, I read to get started like years ago. Like just take the time to do that, you know. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I pray y'all have a blessed day. I really speak um wisdom, favor, grace, and discernment over y'all. Like, I pray y'all the best. I pray that y'all walk in love. Y'all walk in light. And I'm so appreciative of everybody that's in here. Like, I know we joke around a lot in here. I know we, you know, we, we do our thing. We clown around and stuff like that. But y'all have no idea how big, like, like, this is big to me. Because the fact that I'm even, I don't, and the numbers don't phase me. It's like I was up in here with, with five people giving y'all the same energy, the same. You know, I remember like months ago when I was in here with just five people. Like, and the numbers going to keep climbing because we're doing God's work. But at the same time, it's like I'm appreciative, bro. I'm so appreciative that y'all up in here and y'all actually willing to learn and y'all want to do this stuff. And y'all really out here doing what y'all got to do. And I'm, I'm just grateful, bro. And I pray the best for y'all. And I really, I honestly, like, I don't just be like, oh, I pray and I speak. No, I'll be for real. Like, that's my intentions towards y'all. You know, and what I reap, I'm going to sow too. So that same energy that I'm giving to y'all and y'all manifest, it's going to find me. Trust me, it's going to find me and y'all should do the same. But lead in love, lead in light. Y'all already know how we do. Peace to y'all. Peace to everybody else. May y'all have a blessed, good rest of the day and go eat something. Because I'm about to go eat something. Man, I got I to gotta take a shower. But peace.